What is going on guys? Welcome back to your 60th video on building a CMS with PHP and hang in there guys because we are a lot more than halfway done with our content management system. Okay, so in this video we're ultimately going to go ahead and create a form. We're all on the same page, right? We just created our edit dot underscore edit under edit underscore info dot PHP page from our new underscore info dot PHP page. So it's the exact same page right now. So ultimately what we want to do in this video is we want to update. We're not going to add anything to our database. We're not going to delete anything. We're just going to go ahead and update the stuff that we already have. So when I click on about Village Park, instead of it just saying this is the history of Village Park, or if I click on videos or services or random, I want I want um a form to pop up here. I want there to be a form right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on I'm going to go back to my correct directory list and I'll type in edit. Okay, so what do I want to do in this video? Let's go ahead and look at this file and first things first, let's look at our h2 tag right here and we're not going to have add info. Let's go ahead and change this to edit things and what do we want to do now okay so let's look at our form action and I want to redirect this back to our same page I don't want this to take us to create underscore info so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and type our current file edit right there edit underscore info dot php yada 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 and now we need to make this dynamic hold on I got a phone call Sorry about that. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and create this menu to be dynamic. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and create some PHP. And we will echo, uh, what was our variable we've been using? Select table one. And let's go ahead and single quote and pull in our, our, um, our menu from our database. Let's go ahead and close that out and give it closing PHP tags. So now we need to make this dynamic information go along with this H2 up here for the PHP that we just created. So what we're going to do here is we need to add a query string to this. I'm going to go ahead and give it a question mark, subject, and we'll set this equal to, I'm going to sneeze again, I apologize before, beforehand, to PHP, I'll go ahead and close it out right now in case I forget, PHP, and this is just for security purposes. We're just going to use our echo um, URL encode just because when we're um, throwing variables and stuff through the URL up here, it's good. Uh, it's good measure using URL encode. Did I spell that right? I don't think I did. Yep, I did. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this information right here. But instead of using our menu, we are going to use our identification okay I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and look at this for one second make sure this is correct kinda of out of the loop I'm back uh, well never mind I'm uh, I'm blowing it for this video I will be on my A game for the remainder of the videos I promise I actually took like a week off from this whole series of videos so for those who are, have been following along as I go, I apologize, and if those who are watching this video after September 17, 2012, disregard what I just said. But let's go ahead and close this out, and I think that's all I want to do in this video. I've got this out here for my method. Let me look at my code really quick. So here's my quotation over here. Here's my closing quotation, method post. And that should work. So let's go ahead and save this. And in the next video, we will link up our navigation. So good luck with this. And uh, I'll see you guys over there. <clears throat> and I promise I will be on my A game for the tutorial. Later.